May 11, 1906 until December 27, 2018. 112 years of an extraordinary life, Richard Overton. You know, we celebrate Richard Overton not because of how long he lived. Instead, we celebrate him because of how he lived his life. My wife Cecilia and I were honored to be able to host Richard Overton at the Governor's Mansion for his 109th birthday celebration. We had a cake, but we didn't have enough room on the cake for 109 candles. So we settled for three. He, he challenged me to a wheelchair race. And I got to thinking, man, how embarrassing would it be for me to lose a wheelchair race to a man 109 years old? And I ask him the question that everybody asks him, and that is, what is your secret to living so long? And his answer was immediate and unequivocal. Cigars and whiskey. <laughs> now, I did not know until today that it was also butter pecan ice cream. <laughs> but what stood out the most was his genuine kindness and compassion. It was the sheer joy that he had just in living and the humility and grace with which he lived. Born in 1906, the, the, the grandson of slaves. His family worked the cotton fields in Bastrop County. He joined the, the war effort uh, in 1940-42, uh, when, when he was 36. He aged with such grace. He had such patience with the thousands of people that just wanted to be near him, to touch him, to speak with him. It was impossible to be around that man who was gentle and respectful and kind and not be gentle and respectful and kind in return. Everyone here today remembers Richard for his unwavering positivity, a relaxed, happy day approach to life. However, I believe it's important to also remember that Richard's life was not always sunny. Tech Sergeant Overton faced more than his fair share of storms. Segregated African-American units at that time, such as the 1887th, not only faced the dangers and difficulties inherent of combat, they also had to face a toxic mix of racial discrimination and low expectations from the units they were part of. If you look at the percentage of the time that Tech Sergeant Overton uh, spent in the United States Army, it represents a very small percentage of overall what we've heard described as a tremendous life. But I think it represented a very important part of his life. And he was rightfully proud of his service. To the end of his life, as most of you in this room know, you could find Richard sitting in front of his house with one of a variety of World War II hats on his head. He used to say that he had the biggest family in Austin, and after meeting most of you at the funeral home a couple nights ago, I now believe him. <laughs> Richard's service sets a stage, creating a legacy for those of us that came later, those of us that wear the uniform today. So with that, I will bid a final salute to a brave soldier. Richard, your service is remembered and it is deeply appreciated by a grateful nation. And on behalf of our Army, past, present, and future, Godspeed and Army Strong. Thank you.